Welcome back everyone. We are now looking at my top 10 favorite horror movies. If you uh, missed the previous two videos, go ahead and check them out. I did number 35 through 11, and in those parts I mentioned that I really enjoy horror comedy, whether it's intentional or not. I just love that blend, and I, just, I like that more than straight horror in most cases. So there's going to be some horror comedy. If you like, if you're a fan of that type of thing, there's some of that in this top ten. I know it'll lose some people, but um, yeah, if you're like me and you have similar tastes in that type of uh, that element of horror, that that sort of subgenre of horror, then you're going to like some of these movies. My ten favorite horror movies, the ones that I just find the most entertaining, not necessarily the best, but the most entertaining, and the ones that I can watch again and again and just find endless enjoyment. Number ten. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I okay, guess starting off, you know, right here again, yeah, horror comedy. This, I think, has some underrated effects and is overall just a fantastically fun, just absolute blast from start to finish. I can, I, I don't think I've ever watched this movie and not laughed, even after the, I don't even really know how many times that I've seen it, but number 10, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, just <laughs> such a fun movie. I watched that for the first time. Uh, on VHS, I think at my friend Patrick's house, and I remember he put it on, I'm like, what the heck is this? And the way he explained it to me, it almost, I th was kind of expecting almost a more terrifying movie. I was expecting kind of like a clown's, uh, more like Pennywise or something, and it was just blew away my expectations. It was not what I was thinking it was going to be at all, and I had an absolute ball that first time. And one a similar experience to where I couldn't believe what I was watching, because I'm just laughing my ass off the whole way through. It's one of those movies that I could just quote endlessly because I just find so much enjoyment from it. Uh, some pretty terrible sequels that I think are just not really watchable. But the first Sleepaway Camp, yeah, this is actually my number nine. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> I remember um, having Amanda watch this the first time. She's like, what are you making me watch? And she actually enjoyed it, found it very surprising. Um, everything up through the, the great twist ending. It just, I don't, I don't know, I, just, I find this to be so entertaining, and it just, again, I just one of those endlessly quotable movies that just such a great fun time that I actually enjoy it more than a lot of real straight horror movies. There's some masterpieces out there, but I just have just so much joy that I get from Sleepaway Camp, and that's really how, the only way I can explain that movie is just, I get so much joy from watching this, that insane, you know, two hours. And one that we rewatched recently, a recent pickup that uh, Amanda was looking for for years especially. We both really liked it on Netflix. She's like, gotta get this movie, gotta get this movie. Never found it, just ordered it online eventually. And we do want to grab the Blu-ray sometime. It's a little bit harder to find than the DVD though. But from New Zealand, Housebound. If you like horror comedy, this is an absolute blast. This is again so well made. It has to where it could be re-edited, especially in the... Two th first two thirds of the movie, it could have been redone as just a straight horror. It has the the look, it has the feel, it has the atmosphere, but then it adds in such incredibly witty and hilarious dialogue, and such great comedic timing throughout so many of its moments, to where it keeps that horror atmosphere and at the same time is laugh out loud hilarious. We hadn't seen it since we watched on Netflix when it first came out over here. Uh, and then we put in just uh, as time of filming this just the other night we watched it again we got the DVD finally arrived in the mail and we loved it even more the second time it is just one of my favorite one of my favorite horror comedies and actually makes it to number eight it's my eighth favorite horror movie ever just because it is such a great time just sitting here on, on this couch uh, watching on the projector with, with my wife the other night and Amanda and I were just laughing and just having such a great time. That's a good sign. You're sitting there watching a movie and you just have a smile on your face and you're just enjoying your time. Uh, that can be even more impactful in some ways than the most terrifying horror films. But the next couple are very terrifying and really were movies that had that opposite effect. There were just a couple more straight horror movies that really snuck in here before we get to a little more horror comedy at the end. Uh, so yeah, we have number 10, 9, 8, number 7, John Carpenter's Halloween. This, along with Big Trouble in, in uh, Little China, are my two favorite John Carpenter movies. This is my favorite of his that goes into more of the horror genre. Uh, one of the quintessential slasher movies. This Everything from the score to the look, uh, I really love 80s movies and 80s culture and 
this the look of that time this really captures that and it just it scared the hell out of me when I first saw it as a kid this is one of the few movies this and the one right after this were two that terrified me as a kid I think more so than almost any other movie and I think that's why this stuck with me was just that initial experience I am almost reminded of that feeling when I watch it again even as an adult and kind of almost brought back to that time as a kid sitting and watching and being terrified and that really makes that one of my absolute favorites number six one again one of the only other ones that really gave me that feeling and has stuck with me forever is Psycho uh, one of the greatest Alfred Hitchcock movies uh, my second favorite of his that he's done uh, just uh, when someone says like a classic horror movie the first two that probably come to my mind are The Exorcist and Psycho very very different movies uh, but yeah one of the first slashers ever and a brilliant movie. This is one of those, I think some people have a hard time watching older horror movies if they're a lot younger and they're more used to just all the more modern horror movies that are much more jump scare and ridiculous and I don't like a lot of modern horror. But this is one of the few that I think no matter who you are, even if you're one of those people and you don't have a lot of experience with older horror movies, you could put on and you are immediately just going to be enveloped with the amazing atmosphere and it again gives you this great interest in the characters and what's happening and the, the terrifying opening and then you realize you're, you're that's not the main character and, and different elements are just thrown away and it moves on and just it becomes this beautiful masterpiece like it just is one of the, my favorite horror movies one of my favorite movies just absolutely brilliant and uh, it's, it's such a great direction that he that he took it it could have been a very different movie coming right off of North by Northwest doing something so different like Psycho um, it just I think all the right choices were made that's the one thing I could say about Psycho all the right choices were made everything works it is just a, a near perfect if not perfect movie number five The Shining I don't even know what to say about The Shining this I, some of my favorite acting performances ever um, Shelley Duvall is almost like abused into her performance, but it was great. You know, Jack Nicholson, fantastic. I mean, everything about this movie. This is some of my some of my favorite moments visually in any sort of horror or thriller movie. Some of my absolute favorites are from this. And again, the one thing that I really love is a great, an interesting, fascinating story. My favorite elements of The Shining, uh, absolutely loving its directing and its visuals, but definitely the, the acting performances and the storytelling, that's probably my favorite. One that is pretty much the exact opposite. Uh, number four, we have Suspiria, Dario Argento. Just gorgeous film, absolutely gorgeous. This is the uh, South Korean release, really love this slipcover, good release of this movie. Um, yeah, just a feast for the senses, the soundtrack by Goblin. Uh, he's worked with them a few times, this is my, my favorite uh, iteration with him. And just everything about this movie, it's more of a movie that you experience in so many ways with sight and sound and emotion through those than the actual story. Because some of the acting, again, um, depending on which dub you look for too, can be a little hammy and story-wise it makes more sense than a lot of his movies. So it depends on what you're looking at, but some of them are just so disjointed and it just it's not really about that. It's more about the overall experience. And a lot of Argento's movies I looked at and I rewatched some, some of my favorite ones, Bird uh, with the Crystal Plumage and uh, of course the uh, you know, Three Mothers here, uh, Inferno, I like you know, Mother of Tears, forget about it. But Inferno, I like nowhere near as much as this, though. For some reason, this is the only one of his that really, really grabbed me. It just kind of, like, almost grabs you by the neck and, like, drags you into the experience. And nothing else of his, even though I've enjoyed a lot of his work, nothing else of his had that effect on me than the first time I watched Suspiria. It immediately became one of my favorites. I just, I absolutely love the experience of it, every moment of it, just turn off all the lights and just put a really good quality version of and let the colors wash over you and just it, it is a beautiful film. That's the one way I would describe Suspiria is that it is a beautiful film uh, and it's really whether or not you're going to enjoy the actual experience of the whole thing is more to personal taste but I don't think it's arguable that it you know whether or not it is pretty. It is so pretty. It is so amazingly well done 
and yeah, I like it for very different reasons than a lot of other ones. It's not one of those, you know, great horror comedies where I just have fun throughout the whole way. It's not truly terrifying in, in moments. You have moments of, uh, like that, but it's not really as terrifying in the same way as something like Psycho or the, the first time I was as a kid watching uh, the first Halloween. It doesn't really have quite the same grasp of storytelling as um, Kubrick's The, the Shining, but there's something about it that um, just the, the elements that it does have where it really does shine to make it one of my absolute favorite experiences and one that I just put on again and again. I can watch this movie so many times. Number three brings me back to something I said in the first video where talking about what I consider horror or not because if this was a singular movie that wasn't part of a franchise series of movies and now TV series that was very horror ori oriented, I probably wouldn't be on this list because there's I don't consider it horror at all. It's a little more fantasy adventure with some horrifying elements in, in its comedy. Uh, but because I love it so much and because it is part of a, a movie franchise that would be on this list, um, Army of Darkness is my number three favorite horror movie ever. Again, I love horror comedy. Um, this strayed a little more from the first two Evil Deads as far as getting moving a little more towards the comedy, a little more slapstick. I mean, two has a lot of great slapstick, but it's a little more towards the comedy, it's a little more towards the fantasy element, a little more towards the adventure element, uh, but it has enough of those horror elements in there that I can I can keep it on this list. And uh, yeah, just one of my absolute favorite movies from start to finish. Fantastic time, but I do like a movie more than that the original Evil Dead is my number two, my second favorite horror movie ever, The Evil Dead. I grew up loving this movie, and I am a huge fan of Bruce Campbell, Br Briscoe County Jr., Jack of All Trades, and playing Autolycus and Xena and Hercules, and I was obsessed. In elementary school and middle school, I was obsessed with Hercules and Xena, and he was a big part of that, and of course, um, everyone involved with The Evil Dead, and there's so much involvement with those. and. Um, it just, it, you know, Ted Raimi, Sam Raimi, everyone, just Rob Tapper. I, I love a lot of their work, like that whole group, all those buddies. And this is one of the first things they ever did together and still one of the best things they've done together and has created a legacy of some of my favorite directors, producers, actors. Have so much have, that has been, um, just brought me so much joy to my life has come from a lot of the people that were involved in this film. And this is such a great movie to where it has those enjoyably over-the-top humorous moments, but it has a greater sense of horror than what came after it. Uh, I think that's what sets it apart a little bit more than some of the others, is it, a little, it focuses a little more on the horror elements, but everything from the stop motion to the the, ch the choices and all the, the more violent scenes, all the everything about it is just such a great cult classic that has become a mainstream classic, really. Uh, just a fantastic film that has stood the test of time for great reason is so unbelievably entertaining and it comes head to head with my number one there are some times where i like to watch this a little bit more but overall the one that really grabs that spot is the evil dead 2 to be my favorite horror movie of all time again i love horror comedy um this to me is the perfect blend because army of darkness went a little too far away from the horror element uh the evil dead is a little bit closer to the horror element. Evil Dead 2, I think, has some of the most iconic moments because it is the perfect blend of the two. It is the perfect medium. And to me, that is why it is my absolute favorite. It's my, I, man, I love all the special features on this on this one. I like this, this edition a lot. Uh, Evil Dead 2, my favorite horror movie of all time. A movie that I will never grow tired of. And every element that makes a ty the types of horror movies that I love is in this. It, everything in it. You know, some of the reasons why I love things like Sleepaway Camp and Killer Clowns, those elements of humor are in here as well. Uh, reasons why I love things like Suspiria, those, those over-the-top, colorful, interesting, fascinating visuals in a very different way, that type of thing is in here. Like, everything that is in my top ten, those those true moments of dread, there are moments in here like that. It is just the complete package. If you look at my top ten horror movies, there's a little bit of all the other nine in two in some form, uh, Evil Dead 2. And that just, it's my absolute favorite horror film of all time. 
one of my favorite movies. I absolutely love it. It's the kind of movie that I have so many different copies of. I just grabbed the easiest for these videos, like the Blu-ray DVD stacks. Uh, but yeah, this is one that just an incredible experience. I love watching Evil Dead 1 and 2 and Army Darkness and then getting into uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead. Uh, sometime I might have to talk about um, Evil Dead, the um, the new take on the, the remake one there. Interesting movie. Uh, love and hate. I'll talk about that in another video if, if people have interest because I have a lot to say about that one. Uh, but yeah, this is my, my top three horror movies of all time. Army of Darkness, if you call it horror. Uh, the Evil Dead, easily number two and number one. Evil Dead 2. Absolutely my favorites. And I'd love to hear what are some of your favorite horror movies. Are you a big Evil Dead fan? Do you love horror comedy? Um, are your favorites more traditional horror? Are you more of a you know, 30s and 40s? Are you into a lot of more uh, silent era horror? A lot of the German expressionism that gets into, could be considered more to the horror genre in some ways. Uh, yeah, what are your favorite horror movies? I'd love to hear what you like. Are you more into a lot of the modern horror um, that I don't like at all, but you never know. Uh, everyone has different tastes, so I'd love to hear what some of your favorite horror movies are.